in this video i explained the gale lucas law okay so we know that when we supply this heat energy to the any gas or we remove the heat energy from the any gas its three properties are basically changed that is the volume gas and the pressures okay so during the gale lucas law we supplied the heat energy at the constant volume or we remove the heat energy at the constant volumes okay so what is the change in pressures and temperatures that we discuss here okay when a perfect gas is heated at constant volume the absolute pressure of a given mass of the gas vary directly with the absolute temperatures now here you see this is the one figure is that okay so this gas is fix in a one constant volume vessels okay so this vessel volume is not changed okay and the gas volume is not changed gas is completely filled inside these vessels okay so its volume is remains constant now when we start to supply this heat energy to this gas by using this burner okay so its pressures and temperature are changed okay and the pressure and temperature are changed directly proportional okay means both are increase okay so when we supply this heat energy both are increased that is pressure is increased and temperature is increased so when we remove the heat at the constant volume then what happens both are decrease pressure is decrease and the temperature is also decrease okay so we can return these equations the pressure is directly proportional to the temperature means if rise in this pressure is there then temperature is also rise suppose the pressure is reduced then temperature is also reduced so this equation is also written like this way that is the pressure divided by temperature is equal to constant okay so when we convert this directly proportionality is into the equality we need to add the one constants okay so we written this constant as a c you can also written like a k or x or z okay it's depend on or you on which book you are using so p1 and t1 are the initial condition of absolute pressures and absolute temperature at the point 1 means we measures the pressures and temperature of the gas initially okay when we are not supplying this heat energy it is called as the state one just we fill this gas in this vessel at that time we measure its pressure and temperature it is called as the initial conditions okay and this initial condition means when we fill this gas we measure the pressures by using the pressure gauge we measures the temperatures by using this thermometers and we not down it okay and then after we start to supply this heat energy by the burners okay so when we supply this heat energy its pressure and temperature are changed okay so it is called as the final condition so final condition of absolute pressures and absolute temperature at the point 2 is denoted as the p2 and t2 okay so for these two conditions we can write down these types of the equations okay that is a p1 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon t2 is equal to constant means at the initial state we measure the pressure and temperatures okay so we find out its ratio so after supplying this heat energy we also find out this ratio of the pressure upon temperature so we are getting the same answers okay means at the initial stage we can divide pressure by temperatures we get the answer 10 so after the final state we measured the pressures and temperature both are increasing but its ratios are coming same okay so for p1 and t1 we get 10 then definitely we are getting this ratio of p2 upon t2 is also 10 so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching this more video related to the basic mechanical engineering or elements of mechanical engineering for bme or eme various link is provided in the descriptions as well as in a card for other subject of mechanical engineering i request to visit the playlist